Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back to episode 33 of Pokemon Violet Let's Play. In the last episode we defeated the champion and we also had our battle with Nemona. So now we are going to go to Area Zero. That is the next thing on the list. We are almost done with this uh, main story. I don't know why I'm scrolling through all this stuff when the place I want to go is like right in front of me. You know, that's just... Doesn't make any sense why I was doing that. So yeah, we're going to head to uh, Area Zero. And that's going to be the next thing we take on. I am going to try to get as much of this done as I can before the new year. You might be watching some of these episodes like right on the brink of the new year. So uh, the only thing we're going to have left after this is DLC. Which the first part of the DLC, I don't think we're like too crazy far off from completing it now when I say completed I mean like the main story like in the DLC I'm not gonna do like all of the super duper side quest stuff um, you know like filling the pokedex and all that on videos that might be stuff that we do on a stream or something I do plan to continue playing this save uh, I want to move everything over to live stream format at some point once like episodes are done because I kind of want to do like team building and I kind of want to jump into the next like battle season, which I believe the current season ends like January 3rd or something. So that would be nice to get back into competitive battling. For those of you that don't know, I actually used to be in competitive battling. I was in the scene pretty heavy. So I'm, I'm definitely a little rusty. It's been quite some time. There's a lot of new moves. There's a lot of new... Uh, you know, the way types change with Terra types and all that. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but nothing too crazy. Alright, so we're heading into the Zero Gate here. Hey, over here. Man, this is crazy. I'm probably going to do this... I don't know if I want to... I, I guess I'll do this into a two-part episode. This is a zero gate. It was made for... It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down to, into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy it can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. The way home. This is really awesome. I'm super excited that we're at this part. Okay. Now we wait for loading screens. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Oh, that punchy. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she'd get the battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I... I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess. My name's Penny. Well, hey, we never got to actually talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? 
Uh, you talk like way too much. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard Punchy. When she heard it was to help Punchy. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Punchy, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My loves include my Mavistiff and cooking and biometric identification in progress. Hello, Punchy. I've been expecting you. And it seems you've gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Uh, sorry, who are you? That's my dad, probably. What? That's Professor Turu? Nemona, student ID number 805C001, and Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down into the great crater of Haldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your right. Um, Dad? Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. All right, let's do it. Let's get on down here. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above area zero. Punchy, you have brought my ride on with you. Yes. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Maridon's gliding capabilities, it should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. Wait, isn't there like an elevator or something? And wait, did you say Maridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go! That girl, is she, like, incapable of fear or what? I guess we better go to. Punchy, ready for the worst? Yes. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. There he is. What's the matter with it? Hmm. <clears throat> Scared of heights? <clears throat> That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Get on!
Oh man. This place is huge. And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. What's wrong? He's like, nah, fam, I'm out. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's the student council girl? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. Come on already. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make it with, to make the descent without being harmed. Ha! Huh, yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm. I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Oh, you were worried about us. That's so sweet. You should now make your way at the w make your way to me at the zero lab in the deepest part of area zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks on your way to me. You must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. There are a ton of Pokemon over here. This is crazy. Super crazy. I'm kind of like looking for Pokeballs and stuff, but I don't want to go like too far out of my way to get to them. Like there's one right here, right underneath of this giraffe rig. Oh God, it's chasing me. Please don't chase me. We don't have to do this. All right, so I'm not gonna read all of the dialogue on the way down, because it disappears so fast. Just kinda wanna point that out in case you guys are like, hey, this guy's been reading the entire game and he just randomly stopped. So like all of the little banter and stuff that's going on between these guys and gals I'm not gonna be reading that I'm only gonna be reading like the main dialogue that pertains to the story or just like current situation yeah, so we got a, a good ways ahead of us here this is quite the trek down this thing just to get to like a couple of these research places. I see a Pokeball. Alright, let's try to slide. Yeah. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh, yeah. What were they called? Radish, radish rations? Research stations. Hmm. Well, I was close. Wow. 
You have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Yeah, what the heck is that? That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Punchy, let's take it on together. Why do we need to 2v1 this thing? Skeletors. This is a rock type. I'm going to use Earth Power. Oh, Lycan Rock just wrecked it, so it doesn't even matter. That was easy enough. Get some nice XP from some of these guys down here. Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? You think that was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow. Patronizing much? Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. There's an item here. Oh, I got it. A salad berry. Nice. I've tried to get that before and failed. Wonder if it's the same item every time. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those sur surveying Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Punchy, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. All right, well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. All right, let's head on down here. See another item. I'll try to grab it as long as I don't get attacked by this venom off. Yeah, let's not do that. Which way do we need to go? I guess we need to go down here. I see another item. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Max potion. Nice. There's some Halucha. Oh yeah. I got Ashy like, do you want to go back up? Like, why? The second research station. About time, too.
Phew, let's, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. Heh <laughs> ho, I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Hey look, a Delibird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. The thing looks like it's about to explode. Oh my gosh, so cute. What the? Wah! Punchy, it's battle time. Alright, we got Iron Bundle here. I should be able to one shot this, hopefully. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate to say nothing of its treads of iron. Monsters of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon. I don't really know. What do you think, Punchy? I don't think they're regular Pokemon. Hmm, maybe. They're definitely they definitely do look different at least. I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor, some of the life forms that you are that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab where I'm located contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible for, to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Dad, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It would be easier for you to understand once you see the situation for yourself. Now then, Punchy, 
Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Punchy. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place, or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm the one, I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Alright, take care of it for me, okay, Punchy? Alright, let's go on to the next one. And down we go. We have a long way to go here. I would like to catch some Pokemon down here at some point, but I really just don't need anything right this minute. So we're just going to kind of leave this alone for now. There's a TM right here. I think I will grab that. Aerial A is nice. Alright, let's get on to the next area here. I don't think we have too much further to go. Oh no, I accidentally ran into a Pokemon. It's a Floet. Uh, we're just gonna run, hopefully. I see the research station. We're almost there. there whoa that Corviknight just come out of nowhere like just appeared right there all right another research station is this one gonna have a Pokemon Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's going to jump out at us again. 100% guaranteed. Ha! Oh, Penny, such a worry wart. Huh? There it is. See? See? Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along. Well, you've battled one of these before? Arvin, it, it looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Punchy and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Is he going to send out Greedent? That's like completely unnecessary. Yeah, Mavistiff, nice. Intimidate is nice though to have. Let's go straight for the torch song. Nice. See that victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. 
You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get together? Jealous. Uh, if we've got things from the literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Tiro doing anything to keep them under control? How could you let this happen? Yeah, right, because it's not like oh so brilliant Professor Tiro ever messes up. Come on, Punchy, let's get into that research station. All right. And there's one more after this. And made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Hmm. You feeling rough, Penny? Hmm. Oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? But what about Maridon? Isn't it pretty like pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? Huh? I think you're onto something. It's kinda giving off future vibes. Even this name sounds future y. Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Maridon's ball and you told us about his forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everyone's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice then, but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Maridon, that is. It was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor! Maridon, which I entrusted to Punchy, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Seriously? Though analysis, through analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact a futuristic form of Cyclozar, a Pokemon commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time. But I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Muradon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? Wait, if they're family, the other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be re reunited with our Muradon. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they would be if they can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Punchy, please disable the next lock in the central panel there. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue to on to the final research station. Alright guys, I think we're going to wrap it up at this point, so... In the next episode, we will finish up Area Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.